They also gave me shit this morning on my TikTok live for cussing. I said, well, baby, you on the wrong live. You could just swipe on by because it will be custom. Welcome to Brown Boxer North. We are in the heart of Clearwater Beach. This is your mega plex of the This is the best premiere I've had. It's very, very good. I might actually like this better than High Life. Welcome back to another episode of Tap That. I am Allie Ray. We are in Clearwater Beach at the Brown Boxer North, as usual. And today we get to try a beer. Uh, first of all, can we just acknowledge my purple nails? They are beautiful, and I got them because I'm going to the Vikings game this week, and I'm obsessed. But today I'm going to be trying a beer that is very close to my hometown. I grew up in Houston, Texas, and this is uh, by Saloon Door Brewing, and it is called Kima Suprema. First of all, before I go forward. Hold up. Wait a minute. Are they from Kima, or is that just the name? They're from Webster. It's the same thing. Webster, Kima. Webster is very close to Kima, uh, but Kima is amazing. If you ever visit Houston, you have to go to the Kima Boardwalk. There's like lots of restaurants. There's like a Ferris wheel. They have like theme nights where you can go and listen to music, drink beer. It is like a whole vibe down there, and it has grown exponentially. Like they are building constantly. So very, very cool. Kima Suprema, it's a Texas lager. It is 4.7% ABV. Um, I have no clue what the hops are. It does not tell me. But I'm excited to try it. I'm always excited to try it. So excited! One of those words so I've been trying to tell myself to stop saying when I film is very excited. If you go back and watch every episode, all I say is very excited. I'm very excited to try it. I'm always very excited to try it. Kima Suprema. Okay. It's just a beautiful pale golden lager. Look at that. It smells really fruity, actually, and citrusy, like really good. Um, another fun fact about uh, Saloon Door Brewing, I heard they, they uh, also sell chocolate-covered strawberries in their brewery, which is just fucking magnificent. Um, that sounds delish. I've never had it with beer, but it's kind of a nice additive rather than peanuts. Okay, it's really light, crisp. It's 4.7%, so it's an easy drinker. It's meant to be that way. It tastes like your typical light lager, but it has a, like actually some fruity, citrusy um, hints to it, which is actually cool because it gives it a little something more. I feel like for me personally, lagers really start to all taste alike, like especially when they're just a basic, like a lower ABV lager. But this one actually has a little bit of character to it, which is really cool. It's very smooth. It doesn't have any bite to it at all, obviously. You know, you don't typically see that with lagers, but it's, it's actually smoother than I would expect. It doesn't leave a weird coating on your tongue. I'm not usually a fan of lagers because they lack so much character, in my personal opinion, but this one is a little different. So on my scale, I would give this a 3.5, which is good for me for a lager. I, I think it's good. I really do. I think it's got the citrusy, fruity hues, like I said, and that actually makes it taste delish. And it's Kima, and I love Kima. So that's a review. That is Saloon Door, Kima Suprema, a Texas lager. There you have it.